हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एडुपीडिया वर्ल्ड डॉट कॉम दिस इज योर वीडियो लेक्चर आर वॉमिका सोनी एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स यूज इन मेंडल्स वर्क इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर्स आई हैड already explained about some terms that is alleles dominant alleles recessive alleles alleles are the alternative form of genes dominant alleles are those alleles which are able to express themselves also in the presence of the contrasting character and recessive allele are those alleles which are not able to express themselves due to the presence of the dominant allele in the current video lecture i will explain the rest of the terms they are homozygous and heterozygous phenotype and genotype and the f1 and f2 generation in my previous video lectures i have given a brief introduction about genetics and have told that why mendel selected garden pea for his experiment also i have explained the seven characteristics of garden pea which were studied by mendel in this current video lecture all these important terms will be explained hope you will enjoy this video lecture and understand the concept properly so let's begin the first term is homozygous homozygous means that if in an individual the two alleles of a character are similar and stand for the same character then this condition is termed as the homozygous condition see this example this is the case for the stem height right and capital t denotes that the tree is tall there is another capital t together they make a homozygous tall plant the two alleles of a character see main point is this that the two alleles of a character are similar and they stand for the same character the two alleles these are the two alleles for the stem height right and they stand for the same character that is the stem height so this condition is homozygous now if there were small t and small t in case of capital t capital t then they were known to be homozygous short right homozygous short plant now you must have understood what is homozygous the next term is heterozygous if in an individual the two alleles of a character are dissimilar in the previous case the two alleles were similar but in this case the two alleles of a character are dissimilar and they stand for the different alternatives of the character see this example capital t stands for tallness and small t stands for shortness hence they stand for the alternatives of the character the two alternatives were tallness and shortness for the stem height then this condition is termed as heterozygous tall students notice in this example that 
the dominant allele masks the effect of the recessive allele capital t is the dominant allele and small t is the recessive allele it masks the expression of the recessive allele recessive allele stands for the short height of the plant so this is termed as heterozygous stall let's go to the next term they are phenotype and genotype phenotype means physical expression of a trait for example tall pea plant or short pea plant or violet color of the flower white color of the flower different pod shape seed shape etc it is like what you can visualize is the physical expression of the trait and genotype is something different from phenotype it represents the genetic makeup of an organism for the trait like capital t capital t which stands for tallness and heterozygous tallness for a plant so genotype refers to the genetic makeup and phenotype refers to the physical expression of the trait the next terms are f1 generation and f2 generation f1 generation is the first filial generation of hybrid offspring produced in a genetic cross between two genetically different but pure parents this means that the cross between tall and short parents will give rise to tall individuals this will be explained properly through this slide the genotype for this plant is capital t and capital t and for this plant it is small t and small t this is the tall plant and this is the dwarf or short plant and they both are pure breeds okay when they were crossed by mendel the plants he obtained in the offspring were all having the genetic makeup of capital t small t but they all were tall all these plants were heterozygous tall how mendel came to this conclusion i will explain this in my upcoming video lectures this will be explained using a punit square okay this was the f1 generation comprising of all the heterozygous tall plants the next is the f2 generation f2 generation is the second filial generation of offspring produced in a genetic cross between two organisms obtained in the f1 generation this will make it more clear we have seen earlier about the f1 generation now the offspring produced in the f1 generation they are having the genetic makeup they all are heterozygous tall this plant and this plant also is the heterozygous tall selfing is done selfing means self pollination is done between two organisms that were produced in the f1 generation and the new generation produced consists of three tall and one dwarf plant although it looks like there are three tall plants but genotypically there are only the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 how 
Mendel came to this ratio and how did he obtained such type of plants? I will explain it to you in the Punit square. So you must have understood up till now what is the F1 generation? What is the F2 generation? The phenotype, the genotype, homozygous and heterozygous, recessive alleles, dominant alleles and alleles. In my upcoming video lecture, I will explain the Mendel's experiment and the crossing technique. Hope you have enjoyed this video lecture. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you for listening.